This is an introduction to basic leveling. To begin, I will go over a series of definitions to explain terms that will be used throughout the lesson. First, the vertical line. This is parallel to the z-axis. Second, the horizontal line is perpendicular to the vertical line. On Earth, the vertical line is parallel to the direction of gravity and points to the center of the Earth. The level line is a curved line where all the points are of equal elevation. Part of the Earth can be seen as a plane or the horizontal surface. This is the same as a level surface when on the Earth's surface. The level surface is composed of level lines. Leveling. Given two locations, point A and point B, how can we find their elevations? The tools we'll need for this are the leveling rods and the leveling instrument. First, assume the mean sea level is zero feet. Second, the elevation for point A is equivalent to R. A equals zero plus R. Third, place the leveling rod at point A and point B and the leveling instrument at point C. R1 will be the difference between point B and point C. R2 is the difference between point A and point C. And R3 is the difference between point A and point B. Elevation of point B is equal to R plus R3. Good leveling practices. The level rod must be perpendicular to the level surface. Else, the difference of point B and point C is R1 prime. R3 is not equal to R2 minus R1 prime. This would lead to an inaccurate elevation for point B. The level instrument must be perpendicular to the level surface. To get the elevation difference of point A and point C, R2, the line of sight should be parallel to the level surface. If the level instrument is not perpendicular to the surface, the line of sight will not be parallel to the level surface. R2 is not equal to the difference of point A and point D. To correct this error, R4 can be subtracted from the elevation difference of point A and point D. Depending on the method to find the distance of CD, the method to find R4 will vary. If the stadia of the scope are used to calculate CD, R4 is equal to the sine of X times CD. If steel tape is used to calculate CD, R4 is equal to the tangent of x times CD. Instrument error and error fraction could also cause an inaccuracy. Put the instrument in the center between point A and point B. Because of the equal distance between CD and CE, the error fraction angle is the same for point A and point B. As x equals y, then the difference in elevation is the same. The error will be cancelled out by normal calculations.